Let's see this question. So this question is 9,999 plus a variable x equals to x plus one divided by 9,999. So the annoying thing is, is this big number, 9,999. So let's just use a variable. We can use any variable, right? Let's see, we use a to substitute 9,999. Then the equation can be written as a plus x divide, equals to x plus one divided by eight. Now, of course, we want to get rid of the denominator a on the right-hand side, so we multiply by a. Because this a in the denominator is one over a. One over a times a equals one. So the left hand side will have a times a a squared, a times x, a x. Then the right hand side, this a over a is one. So we'll have x plus one divided by one, which is just x plus one. Now let's move everything to the left hand side. So we have a squared plus a x. Move x to the other side becomes minus x. Move one to the other side becomes minus one. That equals zero. So usually we want to use, we want to put, um, when we solve equations, we like to put in a factored form, then make one side to be zero. Once we have factored form, let's say we have a times b. Of course, we can have many factors equals zero. Then we can use zero property, right? Zero property is saying if a product of a couple of factors factors to be zero, that means each factor can be zero. Okay, so in this case, we say a squared minus one is difference of two squares. Difference of two squares can be factored as a plus one times a minus one. Right, multiply those two factors, we get a squared minus one. Then look at these two terms, they have a common factor of x. So once we factor out x, we have a minus one. In this case, we have formed a common factor of a minus one. So, so we have this, which you want to call it. We have this group, right? and we have this group. So we have two groups, and these two groups have a common factor of a minus one. So we factor out a minus one. Then the first group left with a plus one. The second group left with plus x. So now we're in a factored form. So we use zero property. Zero property saying, you know, one of the factors, at least one of the factors has to be zero. Well, let's see what is a minus one. Remember, a is 9,999. Minus one, that's 9,998. So this one won't be zero. So that means that this one has to be zero. So that means a plus one plus x has to be zero. Solve for x, so we move a to the right-hand side, move one to the right-hand side. Well, what is a? a is 9,999 minus one. So that's a negative 9,999 plus one which means x equals the negative 10,000. Okay, that's it. So the answer is negative, x is negative 10,000. So we can substitute this into 10,000. Well, plus this, we get negative one, right? And here, negative 10,000 plus one, negative 9,999. Divided by positive 9,999 also equals negative one. Right. So that's this question, acute question.